I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm doing something you don't tend to see here on my channel. I'm using one of these devices. This video isn't super relevant, I think, but it'd just be kind of interesting. Uh, what this is, is a rifle that I had a friend of mine build for me. Uh, it's Ryan over at Prescott Caliber Club. It's a CZ Bren 2, uh, and I've had it for several years, and I haven't shot it at all yet, and uh, this is going to be the day. Uh, I've been uh, getting all my rifles set, uh, sighted in. I've just been really busy, and I've, I've got the things in stock, so to speak, but I haven't really, uh, you know, been, uh, you know, using them much, and now seems like a good time to get them all sighted in and make sure they're all, uh, you know, doing what they, they're supposed to be doing. Um, I've got a lot of experience shooting uh, 22 and 9mm. Uh, I've never actually shot a 5.56 round before, and that's what we're going to be doing today. These are, I think, the 50 or 55 grain stuff. They're not the green tips. Um, that's what I've got. Going through here, I, I threw the through the bore cider in there earlier. I've got a mark down on a uh, log over here, and uh, well, we're just gonna just see how it goes. I've never uh, again shot this off, so this is it's a little bit different for me. So I guess you you'll get to see my expression <laughs> as I do this to see if I'm surprised or underwhelmed or you know whatever the case may be. All right, so I've got that mark down there. Okay, safety is off. Again, this is the first time I've ever fired this rifle. Maybe I should have hearing protection, but I just don't feel like it today. Whew. I should have had hearing protection. Wow, my ears are ringing. I'll know for next time. I'm used to shooting nine millimeter and I'm used to shooting 22. And um, yeah, my, my ears are really ringing. Um, just, it's interesting though, I'm looking in here and the next round has not, has not uh, advanced into the chamber there. It's kind of half in. So I'll have to kind of work on that. I'm definitely going to send this uh, video to Ryan, and he can help me with that kind of stuff. Magazine's out. There is still a round. It is kind of partially in the chamber there. I don't know if that's, yeah, it's kind of partially in there. I'm going to clear that. There we go. Wow. Yeah, I've never fired that off, and boy, are my, my ears ringing. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I didn't expect that. My boy's over here. He, he at least covered his ears. Your ears ringing at all? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you live and learn. That's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, I couldn't help trying to take a second shot at this. Uh, the mark I had down there, there were so many holes in the tree, I couldn't really tell uh, which of the holes was uh, the, the shot. I think that I was just a little bit uh, left to center, which uh, you guys are watching my channel, that won't surprise you. And I'm going to give it another shot. I've got a piece of paper down there, and I'll, I'll get a video of the piece of paper so you can see in a bit. But this time, I'm definitely using these. That was really surprising. Like I said, I've shot a lot of 22, uh, you know, and uh, this is, it's next level. <laughs> Absolutely next level. You need hearing protection when you do this stuff. So I'm going to throw these guys on. Back in there. All right. Hmm. Click, but nothing. Interesting. I can see inside the chamber. What's going on here? Okay, I'm gonna drop the mag and see what's in there. I pulled the trigger, I heard a click and no bang. Round. I'm just gonna set that one aside. I'm not sure what's up with that. 
and we'll try again. Interestingly, this sliding door did not close all the way. I'm not sure what was going on with that. Just so you guys know what's in that direction, it is woods for miles. All right. Similar issue with the door not closing here. Dropping the mag again. Right. That's peculiar. It's like it's not engaging fully. I'm just gonna set that round aside too. All right. Okay, this time it fully closed. I'm thinking I'm not going to have an issue this time. I'm not sure what was up with that. All right, here we go. I think I'm left to center again. So let's go down and we'll see, see how I did. But first, before we go down range, drop the magazine, make sure we get a clean, clear chamber. Rifles down and let's go. All right, so here we are. Originally, what I had done is I just had an X right here, and there were a lot of little uh, animal holes in here. I believe that this is where my bullet went in, it was just to the left of center right there. So I decided to put this on so it'd be really clear. And again, kind of right over here is where it landed. So my procedure, again, is to just aim the rifle for right there, kind of lock it down, and then click the sights so that the sights, instead of pointing there, are gonna point where the bullet actually fell. Uh, really what you want to do is kind of you know, shoot a few times, get sort of a cluster, and then you move your sight to the uh, middle of the cluster. But I'm kind of cheap, and I like to do it with as few uh, rounds as possible. Uh, I forget what these guys cost. I know 22 ammunition, the last time I bought it in bulk, it was like four cents each, and I just bought some, and it was 10 cents a round for, for 22 ammo. So that's uh, you know, quite a bit more than it used to be. So I like to save as much as we can. So I, I tend to just kind of you know, uh, tweak them over time. You know, I'll tweak the sights over, I'll do it again some other time, and you know, tweak, 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 and eventually we'll get there. Taking aim at intolerance. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.